why hypnotherapy to help people lose weight? We know there are great programs out there. There's Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, a, a lot of different diets, a lot of different systems, and they work. So why hypnotherapy? Well, one of the statistics that I ran across yesterday is that on average, someone who does a diet program loses 5, 10, 20 pounds of weight, is that over five years they tend to put it back on again. Because they're not staying on the diet for five years, 10 years, 15 years. Anybody here uh, done Weight Watchers and 10 years later still using their program, still counting points? Okay, fine. What I do is I help train people to use a very different approach, very natural approach to eating that doesn't involve counting calories, doesn't involve counting points, doesn't involve being all that concerned about which foods to eat, which foods to avoid. Oh no, this is fattening, that's what I'm doing. This uh, mindset lends itself to, I just don't want to bother with it anymore. And they go back to eating the ways that got them overweight in the first place. So one of the things I teach people is the four slender eating strategies. The first one is, if you're hungry, eat something. Okay, if you're physically hungry, eat something. And I help them differentiate between, I just want to eat something because I'm upset, versus being physically hungry. There's a real, some real simple things to do to help somebody determine, are they eating out of an emotional state or is it physical hunger? The second rule, or the second strategy is, only eat foods that you enjoy eating. If you've got a bunch of cardboard flavored uh, Jenny Craig things sitting in the, in the cabinet with only so many calories in it, and you can eat three of those if you want to, <laughs> throw them out. Eat things that taste good. That's what people who are naturally slender do. They eat foods that they enjoy eating. The third of the strategies is to pay attention while eating. Uh, and this involves turning off the TV, turning off the radio, put down the book, uh, put down the magazine, and just eat. And when eating, prepare the first bite of food, put the implements down, chew thoroughly, taste thoroughly, enjoy thoroughly every bite, and then swallow, and then pick up the knife and fork, or pick up the sandwich again. So you put the sandwich down between each bite, you put the knife and fork down between each bite. You're paying attention to the food. And one of my, one of my clients asked her this really gorgeous question. She says, what if I get bored? <laughs> when I'm eating. And I said, then you're done. If it's not interesting enough to eat, <laughs> finished. <laughs> I love that. So, and, and the fourth strategy is when you start to feel a little bit full, just stop eating. Now, if you're eating consciously, really chewing thoroughly, uh, you're taking a bit longer than most people who are chugging the food down. And so your body has time to send you the signals that you're full. Okay. So, why hypnosis with that? Everybody, I just gave you the strategies. You can start implementing them right now. Well, one of the things that hypnosis does is it helps people establish a new habit much more rapidly. And the other side of things is that people uh, have all kinds of emotional associations with eating. Celebrations, uh, if I'm depressed, I eat chips because it makes me feel better for a little while. And so, those are things that I address as part of the program and also, one of the things that hypnosis does is it amplifies the imagination. Well, what's that got to do with weight control? There's some research that shows if someone imagines eating a full meal, chewing, tasting, swallowing, feeling all the sensations of eating a full meal, just before they eat a, a meal in the real world, that they'll tend to eat less. And so, because they feel full already. Because the body can't tell the difference between imagination and reality, if we start a meal feeling somewhat full, we're going to tend to eat less. Uh, there's another thing that people need to be aware of, which is a seafood problem. I have clients who say, if I see food, I'll eat it. Okay, and then, I, so, of course, I've got to go for the counter examples. Oh, you're walking through a restaurant, people left some food on their plate, you go eat that before you leave. Oh, no, I wouldn't eat that. So there is food that they see that they don't eat. And there's some psychological research that shows if one has a smaller plate, one tends to eat less. If there are smaller portions, one tends to eat less. Uh, if, you get, if you're eating food out of a box, a smaller box, people tend to eat less. Okay? Now, another thing that I can do with hypnotherapy is, what is the, uh, the uh, holy grail of weight control 
there's a, a method called bioimagery which allows people to change their bodies and sculpt their bodies. It was designed initially for helping women uh, with bust enhancement and the people who did the research found that they were also slimming their hips and waist. And so the bioimagery, you go through each of the, the images for three or four minutes uh, for each of the images every day. And what happens is the body starts to reshape itself, literally sculpting the body. So if someone's got a, a hip problem or they've got flabby underarms, they can start to do something about that specifically using the bioimagery, which of course is amplified by hypnosis because the, and the body can't tell the difference between imagination and reality. So the body is responding to those images as if they're real. I am Wesley Anderson, Doctor of Clinical Hypnotherapy. Thank you all.